Making your business mobile is a big investment. And for boutique operators like florists, bakers, brewers and coffee roasters, making a statement in style is as important as value for money and practicality. What those operators need is something that's agile around town, comfortable to drive, stylish to look at, and most importantly, affordable to own. Not surprisingly then, those elements are the domain of European focused small delivery vans like the three assembled here. The Citroen Berlingo, Renault Kangoo and Volkswagen Caddy. Designed to pedal goods around small villages as well as congested megacities, this trio all blend car-like driving dynamics with capable cargo carrying capacity, feature economical engines and the latest in modern conveniences, while eschewing the butch appearance of big vans for cute city slicker style. The first of our finalists is the Citroen Berlingo, which is also the most affordable, costing just $22,990 drive away, which is excellent value for money. It is powered by the smallest engine in this group though, a 1.2 litre petrol four cylinder that produces modest outputs of 72 kilowatts and 152 newton meters, and is only available with a five speed manual gearbox. Those that don't like to change gears will have to opt for the more expensive diesel powered version. Whichever you choose, the Berlingo is not only cute to look at and affordable to buy, but comes equipped with a decent spread of kit, including a seven inch touchscreen with a reversing camera and smartphone mirroring. There's a host of smart touches in the cabin too, with plenty of hidey holes for small items and paperwork. Small is a continuing theme here, as the 3.3 cubic metre load area is amongst the smallest of this trio, but it is easy to access with sliding doors on each side and twin barn doors at the back. There's a rubber floor to keep loads in place as well as a cargo barrier and six tie down points. The Blingo can carry up to 850 kilograms, which is pretty decent for a small car, but you'll feel every bit of it as the engine needs to be revved hard with a load on board. The Citroen Berlingo is a really clever car. When you sit inside it, there's storage cubbies everywhere and overhead storage. It's, it's really well thought out. The load space isn't the biggest here, certainly not the longest, but for a lot of businesses, it's going to be big enough. And uh, at the money, it is phenomenal value. The Berlingo has size working against it, but almost everywhere else, they've done a terrific job in terms of uh, the thoughtfulness of the interior, the little hidey holes they've put throughout. Uh, and it's fantastic that this car gets a reversing camera standard. Unfortunately, the engine in the Berlingo is a little bit underdone, little 1.2 litre four cylinder. It does struggle even when unladen. If you're gonna put half a tonne plus in it, uh, you're gonna be thrashing it a bit to get it going. It just doesn't have the torque that you need in a commercial vehicle. The Volkswagen Caddy is the most popular small van in the country and the most modern of this trio, but it is also the most expensive model in our test. The maxi version we have here with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic costs from $31,010 plus on-roads. It does, however, come with more than just the pedigree of the Volkswagen badge, with a classy cabin that will be familiar to anyone that has driven a late-generation Golf or Polo, and features good storage space and is a comfortable place to sit for a day behind the wheel. It is also the only one here that comes standard with automated emergency braking and can be equipped with even more crash avoidance technology which could be critical for those commuting among the chaos of the urban jungle. The cargo area isn't as smart, however, and has a lower payload of 773 kilos and also only a one sliding door on the curb side. Its 1.4 litre turbo petrol four cylinder compensates with a little extra grunt, generating 92 kilowatts and a healthy 220 newton meters across a broad spread of revs. But the judges all thought it felt a little manic and hesitates to get away quickly. The VW Caddy probably feels less commercial vehicle to most people who are familiar with passenger cars and hatchbacks. It, it looks and it feels and it smells like a Volkswagen, which is a good thing. They're, they're beautifully presented cars. It's got that zappy little four-cylinder turbo engine and the, the slick DSG. The only problem is, for me, is that it's, uh, it's probably the most expensive vehicle once you get it on the road. I think the Caddy has the most car-like interior of all these small vans, particularly with uh, the typical Volkswagen presentation. It just looks really elegant, it's clean, it's simple, but it's functional and that's important in a car like this. There's also plenty of storage, including some big binnacles over your head. Value is where the Caddy starts to struggle. It's towards the upper end of the price range in these sorts of vehicles, but it doesn't seem to offer a whole lot more to the customer. And one area the Caddy's let down is with its doors. It's sliding doors, it's only got one, so you've only got one on the, the curb side, uh, which for a lot of people that may do, but having two is a real bonus. 
Really, you can't go wrong with either of these three vans, but the Renault Kangoo stands out as our best small van for a number of key reasons. The quirky little French machine slots in between the Bolingo and Cadillon price, costing just under 30k in the maxi model we're testing, and yet doesn't feature as much standard gear as either of them. However, we believe it is the smarter choice when it comes to carrying a load, thanks in part to its perky 1.5 litre turbo diesel motor that generates 81 kilowatts and 250 Nm metre outputs, and is the most frugal with a claimed average consumption of 5.4 litres per 100k. It's also the nicest car to drive out on the road, with great suspension that is compliant over the bumps and can easily carry the load in the back. The first of those is the most important, and that is space. There is a huge amount of cargo carrying capacity in the back of this thing. It's also got a sliding door on each side, which means getting that load in and out is more practical than the others. And it's got some really smart tie down points in terms of ones being located higher up. So if you're a florist, for example, you can secure the pot plant at the bottom. And if it's a tall stem, you can also ensure that it stays upright. The other key aspect is this is the only one of these three with a diesel engine, and it is a cracker and it ensures that when you are carrying a load, it hardly even feels it. That engine is strong, it's powerful, and it's got plenty of grunt to it. It's also smooth and relatively quiet underfoot. And it's nicely hooked up to this six-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox, which tends to find the right gear for the right time at all the right moments. In fact, this car drives more like a car than any of the others. The suspension is really well sorted. With a load in the back, the rear suspension didn't crash at all. In fact, it rides the bumps really, really nicely. The steering is well sorted, the driving position's great, and you've got a huge amount of vision. Gripes, well, there are a few. In terms of the cabin as a working life, it isn't as smart as some of those other ones. It's got a big binnacle here at the top where you can put your paperwork, but there's not a lot of usable storage space elsewhere. And overall, it doesn't feel as classy in terms of the materials. It also doesn't come with a camera or sat-nav. Instead, it's like a old school aftermarket radio system here. And some of the controls are pretty clunky, such as having the audio system controls here on the side of the steering column. But there is a lot to like about this car, particularly the way it drives. It'll work hard for you when you need it to, but it's also reasonably comfortable to live with in everyday circumstances. So if you like this video and you want some more, subscribe to drive.com.au, click the like button and leave your comments down below.